students today we are going to discuss the nomenclature of haloalkanes and haloene as you know there are two system of nomenclature one is common name or trivial system trivial system or common system of nomenclature and the second is your iupac system now let us see what are common and iupac system for haloalkane and haloene for example if we write ch3br then the trivial nomenclature is your methyl bromide because as you know it is your alkyl halide this is your alkyl and this is your halide similarly if we have ch3 ch2 br then what will be the common name the common name is your ethyl bromide but here the main important nomenclature is not the common system of nomenclature but it is the iupac system of nomenclature in iupac we write halo alkane actually it is your rx and for x we use word halo and for r we use word alkane so halo is your prefix halo is your prefix while alkane is your suffix so if we have a compound like ch3br then the prefix is bromo so the iupac name is your bromo methane methane we write because the number of carbon is one if we consider the higher alkyl halide such as ch3 ch2 br then again the prefix is your bromo and then it is bromo ethane ethane because the number of carbon is your two now if we consider more higher alkyl alkyl sorry more higher alkyl halide for example the alkyl halide having three carbon four carbon or five carbon for example if we write ch3 ch2 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 br the molecular formula is your c4 h9 br this compound can also be written as ch3 ch2 ch br and ch3 now somebody ask you what is the iupac name of this compound can we say the iupac name of this compound is your 4 bromo butane can we say the answer is no it is wrong now why it is not 4 bromo butane because in this case we have to see the positional number of halogen atom the positional number of halogen atom should be at lowest carbon so therefore the correct answer is your not the 4 bromo butane but is your 1 bromo butane because if we count from this side then the bromine is on first carbon similarly in this case if we count from this side the bromine lies on third carbon but if we count from this side the bromine lies on second carbon so the correct name is your 2 bromo butane it is your 2 bromo butane now let us suppose if we have a compound like ch3 chcl ch cl and ch3 uh, suppose it is ch2 and ch3 now see there are two halogen both are chlorine then in that case if we come from this side 
द सेट ऑफ लोकल इज योर टू एंड थ्री वाई इफ वी काउंट फ्रॉम दिस साइड द सेट ऑफ लोकल इज योर थ्री एंड फोर ये नो इन द रूल ऑफ आई एम पी एस इन ऑन एंड केचर द सेट ऑफ लोकल शुड बी लोएस्ट देयर फोर द करेक्ट नोमेन केचर इज टू कॉमा थ्री टू थ्री देन वी हैव डाई क्लोर एंड द नंबर ऑफ कार वन इज फोर so it is 2 3 di chloro butane now if there is any multiple bond suppose if there is any multiple bond that is double bond or triple bond then what will happen for example if we write ch3 ch double bond ch ch2 we are if no double bond is there Recall the idea that if there is no double bond is there, then the correct name of this compound should be your one bromo butane. But as there is double bond, so this should not be one bromo because in that case the priority must be given to the multiple bond. So that's why if we count from this side, this compound is very important because if we count from this side, the double bond. Is between second and third carbon, but if we count from this side, it is the double bond between second and third carbon. Now what we have done? Then in that case, we have to consider the position of the halogen, and as the position of the halogen in this case is lowest, so the correct name is your one bromo. It is your one bromo but to e. But if we write the compound like the CH two double bond CH CH two CH two Br, then what will be the correct name? In that case, your correct name is from this side because the position of double bond should be lowest, and then the correct name is your four bromo. It is your four bromo but. One e. Now the question is, can we write? Can we write one bromo but three e? The answer is no, because the double bond must be placed at the lowest position. However, in this question, look at this question. From both the side, the double bond is on second position. So in that case, we can. Consider the position of halogen atom, but in that case, first of all, we have to consider the position of double bond and not the position of your halogen atom. Clear? 